Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Rhonda and I'm also known as Sparkly One. Recently I made a cowl scarf and I'm going to post that video right here so that you can check it out. And it's just a simple scarf and if you would like to embellish it with the boho look, that's what I'll be showing today. So look, it's so cute and it goes underneath the jacket or you can wear it by itself. And I just added the fringe to it. I also made it in purple. I love this color too. It's just so pretty. It's so bright and vivid. I just wanted to share though that I only put the, the fringe halfway around the cowl. So I did that because I didn't want it getting caught in my hair and I just think it looks really good this way. So anyway, you can do it all the way around or whatever you'd like, but I just thought I'd show you this color too. I also made it in pink. I really love the pink. I think it's so pretty. If you're interested in learning how to embellish your cowl scarf, um, let's go ahead and get started. This is an H crochet hook, the same one I used in the tutorial. So we're going to be working from the right side of the fabric. So we're going to want to make sure that the seam is on the inside. And then all we're going to do is join with a slip stitch right at this seam right there, at the top of the seam, right next to your open space. And then all you're going to do is attach it with a slip stitch. Now, when I do my slip stitches, I use the short piece to attach it. It gives it a little bit more security right there. And then I'll just snug it down. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to chain one, and then you're going to work single crochets into this open space. You're gonna put two in each space. And then with these chain, uh, these are double crochets. With the double crochets, all you're going to do is go into that open space in between the double crochets with two in there as well. And I'm covering up my tail. And then you just go along the side and you put two in every space. And again, you're going to go underneath that double crochet with two. So just go ahead and do that all the way around. And then when I get back here, I'll show you the next step. So there's the last two. Oh, wait, no, sorry. This is the last two. So I'm just going underneath that double crochet. And then here I did a chain one. So I'm just going to go underneath that chain one with a slip stitch. And then from here on out, what you're going to do is you're going to chain three. Then you're going to skip one and go into the next space with a slip stitch, chain three. Skip one, go into the next space with a slip stitch. Then you're just going to repeat that all the way around until you get to the beginning. And then you join with another slip stitch. So you have these little chains that are open spaces. So go ahead and do that all the way around. Meet me back here. Okay, here I am at my last couple um, stitches. So I'm going to chain three, skip one, go into that space, chain three, skip one, chain three, and then right here in this last one, you're just gonna go underneath that space right there with a slip stitch, and that's it for that. So you can fasten this off, and you can do this on both sides of the cowl if you'd like. I'm only doing it on one side, but that's just my preference. So feel free to do whatever you want. I also want to give you an option. Now you can start at the beginning with this stitch that I'm going to show you. And this is with a pico. And I'm just going to show you on a pink one that I did. And this is with the pico. I did this in a bigger loop. This is five, five um, chains instead of three like we're doing on this one. But you can add this pico if you'd like. And let me show you what that looks like. You're going to single crochet two times into that space right here. Oops. 
then you're going to chain four and then you're going to go into this space right there at the base of that chain four and you're just going to make a pico and that's just slip stitching through then you're going to go into the same space with two more single crochets and this is what it will look like so this has a little open space here we're going to, where we're going to hang the fringe from so let me just show you that again because it gets a little confusing you just go into the open space with two single crochets chain four then you slip stitch at the base of this chain four right down there where it's attached slip stitch and then you just chain two i mean the single crochet sorry about that back into that same space so you're making all of these little picos all the way around so just continue that till you get to the beginning and then i'm going to show you how to put the fringe on so all you do is you take a book and this one is just your average size book i don't have a tape measure next to me or i'd show it to you it's actually the same size as a phone case here's my phone case and you're just gonna it doesn't really matter you can just use whatever you want but you can use your iphone or you can use a book so i'm just going to use the book and this is actually one of my most favorite books it's by barbara johnson and i've had it for like 20 years <laughs> but it's splashes, splashes of joy in the cesspools of life and just just to show you i mean she is so funny and she would always quote people and um, had such a great attitude. The joy of motherhood, what a woman experiences when all the children are finally in bed. <laughs> and she just had such a great sense of humor and I really enjoyed her books and they've helped me get through some tough times over the years. But I don't know if any of you know who Candy Johnson is, but she's a doll and she's on, here, on YouTube and just a huge uh, YouTuber that does makeup and she's beautiful. But this is her grandmother and this book is just hilarious and i didn't even know that until recently so i was so happy to hear that because she is also full of joy and you might want to check out her channel but anyway so this is how you're gonna make let me just zoom back a little bit this is how i make my fringe so i just hold this piece at the bottom and i just keep wrapping and then once you're done you can get a whole bunch on there you know probably about you know i don't know I do like 30 at a time. Just get a bunch on there and then just take some small scissors. Don't cut your book up, but just clip right here at the base like this. And then these will be the perfect size. And then you're just going to separate them into three strands. And then you take your Cowl. You're just going to have the scallops right here. So you just go through this space right there, pull it through with your crochet hook, and align these. Make sure that they're all lined up to the same length or somewhere close. And then you just hold them in your hand, yarn over, and pull them all through. Just like that and you just tighten them up and then they fit perfectly right there on that little space now you can do the same thing through this pico if you do the picos so let me get three over here and i'll show you that so you're just going to go under the pico grab your yarn pull through get them to the same length and then you just yarn over all of them and pull them through and just tighten it up so you have those different options so you can do this or this oh and there's one more thing i wanted to show you is when you're adding the fringe you can either have it looking like this 
or like this. So this is one side and this is the other. So if you like the way this looks, make sure that this is on the outside of your scarf where it's gonna be showing. So just finish all your fringe and then I'll show you what this looks like when I'm all finished. You have so many different options. And when you put a jacket with it, it just, I think, really spruces up an outfit. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope that you make a ton of these and I know you can make some before Christmas. And even if you only have a couple days, you can make probably two or three. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and be notified each time I put up a new video. Anyway, I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much. Hope to see you next time. Take care. God bless you. Bye.